Hi guys, Justin from Backyard Russia here again and today we've got a little project that I'm going to be doing with my boy, my little boy and uh, yeah, it's just going to be a little stool for him to, like a booster seat on the, so he can sit on the normal chairs at the table um, so yeah, should be a fun project and uh, basically we're going to go to the shop and get some glue because I ran out and uh, I'm going to get a few other things while I'm there and then we'll get started Okay, so on my list I've got cutting board, glue and uh, bird seed for the bird feeder that we made. Uh, you can check that out, it's in a previous video, I'll leave a link probably in a card up the top there or in the description down below. Um, so yeah, let's see what cutting boards we can find first. Okay, so we've got the usual plastic ones, we don't really like the plastic ones wood ones over here they have some wooden ones the usual laminated bamboo a couple there ones that sit over the table but I'm looking for something a little bit more solid okay so these are the glues they got here I was actually surprised they've got type bond original here and also type bond transparent too we'll probably grab one of them we've already looked at the um, cutting boards so I actually saw a camp chair uh, on the way in, and uh, I know it's not on the list, but they're hard to find sometimes. And uh, these ones looked all right for the price, so I think I'm going to pick up one of them. And uh, then we're just going to go to another shop and get some bird seed, and then we're done. What's up, Daddy? What's up, you out of the car? Big boy, can carry the glue for daddy. Carry the glue. Yeah, you take it to the gate. Alright, let's open the gate. Uh, run to mummy. I'll walk to the door. Yeah, put your hands in your pockets. Okay, so we're now at home and ready to start our little project. We've got our glue. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to find a bit of timber that we can use for it. I think I've got some in the shed. So we'll just see what we've got and then we can get started. Okay, so this is the bit of timber that we're probably gonna be using. It is just under 150 and uh, 50 mil, so two by six. And uh, this is some scrap timber that we got given from a building site. It's got a bit of concrete on it. I used it for form work, so I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a sand down. So I've had a bit of an idea of a way to get the other side straight. It's pretty hard to cut straight freehand. So what I'm going to do, or try and do, is uh, clamp my level to the other side and then use that for a guide for the fence and we'll see how, see how that works. So let's give it a shot. That's uh, my bit of timber cut down, so I've got two straight edges now, or straightish edges, as straight as I can get it with a saw like that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sand it as one piece before I cut it into little bits for the um, stool, and uh, that should hopefully make it a little bit of a quicker process. So I'm going to get the grinder and the sandpaper and get straight into it.
sanding's all done and we're just about ready to cut all the bits up. So I'm gonna unplug the grinder, get the saw plugged in again, and then we can measure it all up. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is coming together pretty good. All the bits are cut. I'm going to cut a 10 degree, um, actually, no, it'll be a 10 degree this way. Uh, cut on the bottom there, and it should just make it look a little bit nicer once it's all sanded up. Um, it won't just look like a big brick. And uh, it'll be all ready for the wax, the thing that my wife makes up. So to be a nice finish in the end but before we do that um, it's getting close to dinner time so I'm going to help get the children ready for dinner I'm going to have dinner and then after dinner I'll glue it all up so yeah it's coming together probably tomorrow we'll have it all finished okay as you might have guessed I'm in the boiler room now I'm here for a few reasons one of them is uh, it's warmer in here and lighter um, and you know it needs to be a bit warmer for the glue to cure properly. Uh, the second reason is I need some solid surfaces to use my bottle jack with, which is what I want to be using to clamp the two top pieces together. I don't have big clamps, so um, it's kind of the idea I've come up with. Hopefully it works. It's a bit of an experiment. So yeah, let's get going. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to glue this edge and that edge just give it a bit of light clamping pressure together uh, with the bottle jack and then once I've screwed the, uh, glued these up we'll screw them down in place and that should that should hopefully pull everything together I'm a little glue applicator here Okay, there's my little bottle jack clamp alternative. Um, this has all been glued up, screwed down. Hopefully it all sets well. But yeah, I'm going to call it a night now. I'll come out tomorrow and uh, give it a sand and a wax. And then it will be all finished. Our block is nice and flat on the top, so those screws obviously do the job. I'm going to take them out. As you can see, they're sticking through, so they'll be coming out. Um, I'll go get a screwdriver, take that off, and then, yeah, we'll clean all this up. Then we can start sanding. So, quick sand, brush it off, and then we can give it a wax. At the moment, we're just giving it a quick wipe down. All right, you ready to wax it with Daddy? Yeah? Nope. From the day, it's from.
All right, we finished this. Let's go inside and try it out. What a big boy chair! Okay, so we finished the uh, project. It was a fun project. We hope that you enjoyed following along with us. It was a just a scrap timber project that any of you guys could do. So we hope that you're inspired get out there and get something built yourself but um apart from that i'm going to enjoy the rest of the sunshine with the children and uh yeah i'll catch you next time <coughs> show daddy what you can you